Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a review of a 3D printed SR71. Now you can download these files on Colts 3D and it's by a maker of hobby, um, the Hobby Printer and he's got a channel here on YouTube but I can't remember it right now but I will leave a link to it in the description so you can um, look at um, this SR71 and he's got it flying. But um, this is the nose of it. And it's got panel lines and everything in here. I don't know if you can see them um, in, um, on this. And here's the bottom of it. And this is 2.1 meters in length. And I believe 2.1 meters is um, roughly 85 inches. And um, it's a section of it, another section here. There's two sections here, glued together. And there's a carbon fiber rod that goes down in here and will go through here too. And it's very well designed. It looks to be about a five millimeter um, inner wall and outer wall. And there are formers inside of here, all through here. I don't know if you can see inside of here, but um, with the light, but um, these formers run horizontally through here, out through here. And there's magnets that'll, um, that go on here and the hatch will just snap down on here. And also in this, I'll be using these, um, I've had these 70 millimeter um, Schubler fans. I'll be using these for this. And also with this, you use uh, Motion RC landing gear, which is nice. You just buy these and use them. And the nose wheel too here. And the rest of the parts here, some of the parts, um, they're not um, all here. But um, these are the cones and things that go on here in the back. And it's highly detailed too with these indentions and everything um, throughout here. And it uses carbon fiber rods that go throughout here. Now on my channel, I've um, showed you guys um, how to design an SR71. And um, you can just go back and take a look for the video there and um, um, I've shown you how to do this. It's not very difficult to model this um, jet. Also, um, if you don't want to uh, model it yourself, you can go over to GrabCAD and download the um, STP, STEP files for an SR71 and uh, put that in your Fusion and work that um, from there. And um, I'll have a link to that also down in the description. And um, also later in the video, I show you how to, well, not um, completely, but I show you how to um, um, modify the STEP file so you can make it a 3D printable uh, model and um, um, go from there and um, work with it. But this, again, is a very nice, <laughs> 3D printable uh, model. I said this is printed with um, lightweight high temp PLA. And this is 2.1 meters long. And like I said before, that's about 85 inches in length. And also um, all built up with the battery, everything ready to fly. This weighs roughly 4.2 kilograms. And I believe, um, what is that? Um, nine and a quarter pounds is not much. And um, I did some research on the Motion. They've came out, um, come out with an SR71 as well. And that SR71 is 1.8 meters long. And so that's roughly um, 73, um, 1.6 meter, yeah, excuse me, 1.8, and that's roughly um, 74 inches, 73, 74 inches. So this one here is roughly a foot longer. This one's a little bigger. And the one from Motion, it is 3.56 kilograms, and that's without a battery. Now, if you put the battery in it, now you're running roughly up there about nine pounds as well as um, this one. So this one um, here, the 3D printed one, um, 
it will probably be about roughly a half um, half a pound lighter or eight ounces um, lighter and it's bigger but the only drawback is you have to 3d print it and um, assemble it the motion one you don't have to do that it's already done for you and the some people have complained about the price of the motion one but um, it you know to me it is what it is if you want an SR 71 that's already built then um, you know go ahead and, and um, get it like um, the price I think it's like 729 and then with taxes it's something like $800 altogether but um, for those of you again who want to design your own uh, I showed you how to um, model it in Fusion 360 and um, just go back and look at my earlier videos and it shows you how to do that and if you don't want to do that and you still want a 3D printed one then I would suggest, suggest this and um, all honesty, um, this, this SR71 was out before the Emotion one came out. And this one's a little bigger. And using the lightweight high temp PLA, to me, that's the way to go, especially where I live here. It's, um, you know, summertime, it gets 105, 106 degrees. And so you um, need the high temp um, lightweight PLA to. Um, to print this up and this is turning out extremely well with um, this and like I said I'll be using the Schubler fans be I'm only using these um, because I have them and um, I necessarily wouldn't buy Schubler fans for this but these were from another project that I had and so I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have um, for this and also um, back in the past I had uh, started working on my own SR 71 um, I bought the, uh, the STL files and printed it out and I was making that into a plug and then making molds of it. Now I haven't really given up on that, but that's now in a back burner now that, um, I have the STL files for this and I do have the motion SR 71 also. I ordered that, but, um, this here, I can, um, the 3d print it one, I can make this as big as I want it or as small as I want. So that's why the other one that's making the plug is on the back burner because I do have the, the Motion RC one and this one now. And this here was uh, one, um, one that I was working on. Um, just this here was just um, seeing the, like um, how much infield and all the stuff I really needed and how, um, you know, this was just a little prototype thing that I was working on just just testing out stuff and um, seeing how that goes but um, yeah and um, like I said here's more of the parts this has infill too um, not infill these are printed with zero infill but then it has structure inside with the um, the formers and stuff all through here so I don't know if you can see that well but um, that's another part and um, the back here and everything it's a very de um, very nicely designed model so those of you who don't want to spend the the um, eight hundred dollars and buying the SR 71 for motion and you want to um, 3d print one then I would suggest these files here and then you can scale them up or down to the size you want to or just print it um, as is because as is this um, uses 70 millimeter fans also just like the motion RC one uses the 70 millimeter EDF fans so um, you have a lot of options to go from there now you can you know you have your foam one the motion RC or you can 3d print one design your own and go that way and um, so yeah lots of um, um, ways of going about this and like I said um, if you don't want to design your own, you can uh, download the the model of it, uh, STEP or STEP file, and put it into your CAD software and um, roll your own that um, that way. But um, yeah, so um, later in the video, you're gonna see the um, how I modeled the SR71 and and also in the STEP file um, with the CAD also. 
Okay, folks, um, I've showed you guys how to model an SR-71 in um, previous videos, and this is it here. It's not very hard to do at all. And this is what it looks like without um, canvas on. It's a nice looking model. And um, on my Patreon site, you can download this F3D file of this. And let's see, for those of you, again, if you don't want to design the model yourself, or I mean, um, if you want to learn how to model this, then watch my video on how I modeled this SR-71, and I'll show you how I did it. But for those of you who do not want to um, um, model it yourself, but you want the SR-71, and you want to convert it into a, uh, uh, you know, a, a 3D printable model, a flyable model, now what you can do is go over to GrabCAD and look for an SR-71 and make sure it's in the right format that you can work with. So I've um, already done that, and I'll show you guys um, some things on that. So what I'm going to do here is um, open it up from my computer, and let's see, it's a Blackbird. There it is. And the computer does its thing. Okay, and here it is. Now, this is for you if you don't want to model it yourself. And you don't have time and all that. Now, as I look at this, um, I see this is some inside-outside type stuff. Now, it can't really work with this just yet. Let me take a look at the bodies here. Okay. Now, none of these are solid bodies yet. So you're going to have to do a lot of converting into solid bodies, which is not that difficult. Let's um, take a look at something here. So let's find the top here. Okay. So this is body number 13. Turn this off. Okay, and we see that that's black on the inside and that little um, sort of goldish color on the outside. So we can't work with that just yet. So what we're going to have to do is come over here to um, Surface, then click Modify, and we're going to have to reverse this. So select this and click OK. Okay. Excellent. Now we have this on the inside, what we need. So we turn this back on, have a look. Okay. Nice. Now that we have that, what we can do to make this a solid body now, you come over here to create, come up here to thicken, and um, click this. Okay. Now we want to thicken it from the inside, so it's going to be a negative number now. And um, what you needed to do first to see what um, um, settings like this is in inches. If you wanted to change this in millimeters, so you have to you would um, have to come over here in the beginning and change all this stuff. But this is in inches, and um, so 0 0.20 is um, of an inch. That's a, um, just a little bit under a quarter of an inch. And then um, did that, then click OK here. OK. Now, let's take a look and see that that turned into a solid body. You turn this off again. Now, this portion here we see is not over here anymore. So, you're probably wondering where it went. Well, I'm wondering where it went, too. <laughs> but um, we have more bodies up here, so I'm going to come up here and check these bodies out of here. Okay, here it is. 
As you can see now by the color of this, this is now a solid body and now I can work with this. So let's say I want to split this in half, um, create a sketch on this plane here. Just sketch a line, make sure I can do this because um, this model was um, modeled in CATIA, I believe that's how you um, pronounce it, CAT software, um, C-A-T-I-A. And then um, just downloaded it as a step file. Now let's see, can we split this? Split body, this is a body to split. And click OK. Yes. OK. Now we have the two bodies up here. So you're going to have to do that to um, all these bodies is um, use a thicken command, which is no problem to do. Now, this is a great way of doing this if you do not want to model this yourself. You don't have time. And um, one thing um, you want to do in the beginning, too, is um, scale this, um, the whole model here. And you scale here. Then you select um, each part here. I don't know if it'll let me do the whole thing. Probably not. And... Um, Go ahead and cancel this because I'm not going to do that. But um, you're going to have to scale um, all the parts. And it'd probably be best to just go ahead and make all the, um, everything, the solid bodies first. Then after everything is into a solid body, then combine everything and then scale it that way. It'll be um, probably easier on your computer doing it that way as well. But like I said, this is a GrabCAD um, step file here, S-T-E-P file. If um, you don't want to model it yourself, and um, this file works great in uh, Fusion here. And if you want to learn how to model this yourself, then watch my videos and um, I show you how to model this um, SR71. So, yeah. But um, that's it for this portion of it. Well, that's going to do it for this video. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Or you can um, ask me that or send me an email or uh, contact me on my Facebook group or my Patreon site. And um, the Facebook group and my Patreon site, both are called Cat Bill Fly RC. And like I've um, told you guys before, I'm trying to make this my full-time job, teaching you guys how to model these airplanes and things and, and CAD. And if you can, um, at the minimum, just hit that subscribe button and like button. And if you can, um, you know, want to do more, then um, send a super thanks or join my um, Patreon site um, of being a paid member there. But like I said, at the minimum, if you could just hit that subscribe button and like button. So that's going to do it for this video. And if you have any questions on this again, just um, leave them down in the comments. And we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.